Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of March, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's called Sweet Dreams and it is inspired in the uh, Pisces season we were on. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box or you can email me with your questions. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Gemini, I feel like there's a lot of activity, a lot of activity, a lot of activity. You could be extremely busy during this time. And I also feel like dealing with a lot of people, a lot of communication, a lot of things happening at the same time. And many of you are trying to find your footing. You're trying to find here, um, you're trying to find balance. And it can be a little bit hard for you to, to find this balance, to find like you're managing things well. And many, um, for many Geminis, this is actually also kind of here activating um, problems, crisis in relationships. For some of you, this crisis um, that is being activated, um, it's because, uh, you know, it's like your your friends feel like, feel your absence. Um, your lover, your, your, your partner feels your absence, your family feels your absence. And I feel like the more they try to pursue you, the more, you know, um, you run backwards. So I keep getting like, there's a fear about this extreme attention, this need of you, this constant, you know, um, call for you. It's scaring you a little bit. I feel like for some of you, Gemini's, you're not accustomed to this kind of energy you're not used to it there's something very unfamiliar with the attention and um the busyness of this period that is making you kind of you know have this uh this feeling of i just can't handle it so you have here the eight of wands as your opportunity you have a lot of options you have a lot of people to talk to uh, I feel like if you're uh, in pursuit of exciting times, definitely this is the weeks where you can find a lot of excitement. If you want things to move, if you want action to happen, this is action, baby. But this action um, that is occurring is very intense. And it's the intensity, the quality of the intensity of this time, the intensity of these people. Uh that is not what you expect, meaning that for some of you Geminis, you expected for things to move, uh, you know, in a in a more familiar way. So you expected action to take place, you know, according to your element, which is air. And so it's about the light breeze. It's about chill. It's about communication. It's about logic, objectivity. This is fire. Eight of Wands, airy season. This is about, <laughs> for some of you, it's like this feeling of airy season is going to drive you nuts. In the feeling that as we move more into April, the intensity that I'm speaking is only going to get even, you know, deeper. So I feel like some of you need to just, you know, breathe through this process. Uh, this fire, this intensity this energy of things happening so fast uh, with a lot of passion, you know, with a lot of um, drive can feel like a, a, um, an energy that is pushy. You can feel like people are pushing you or too pushy, too demanding of you. You can feel like situations are too demanding of you. I keep getting like there's a purpose to this fire that is almost like a kick from the universe to get you going to get you going once and for all. And when I say this, it's a feeling like you have been in a very slow process of waking up to something. And this slow waking up effect um, is something that I feel like it can continue because time is of essence here. So there's something about time being of essence, especially now. 
something about the now is extremely important for Gemini's. That is going to be important. That is going to dictate, you know, a lot of your future, a lot of future events, and a lot of how you feel independent. Are you after independency? So this is the time when you're going to find it. But in order to really claim this independency, this autonomy, to claim here a business, a project that is going to make you go really far in life, you have to have things happening. You have to be willing to, it's this energy of arrows, right? You have to be willing to go as a you know, to go to go right away as things present themselves. So you can also feel like you can't you can't uh, think, and this is scaring you. And the feeling like you have to decide immediately. There's like immediate decisions, and this can be a little bit scary for you because you you feel like you're not thinking 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 it through. This is about for some of you Gemini's um, not having time to be here, right in the headspace in the mental realm, which is your realm. This is about here, instinct, fire, action. So um, you could feel off with this. You could feel, it could feel like it's odd to just, you know, move through life this way. I also feel like, though, you're going to enjoy it uh, more than at times what you believe you will. The Queen of Wands is a very attractive, joyful spirit. I feel like many of you, uh, Gemini's, um, you're going to be happy with the position you're going to achieve. You're going to be happy with how you're looked at during this time, the attention at, that at times you're given, this more, there's a little bit of like a sexiness to to you and to the way people look at you. You're, you're seeing as being a very sexy, uh, attractive here presence. And this energy of flirtation, you know, adoration, admiration is making you happy. And with it is also helping you feel more, more okay with this process of being so busy or having things happening so fast. This could be, you know, a relationship that is, you know, really going to move very, very, very fast and you're not, you know, expecting this or you're just like I don't know if I'm doing the right thing I don't know if this is not too soon it's not too too much of a of a crazy thing to do if you have recently fallen here in love if you've recently met someone or reconnected with someone uh, expect things to take steam yes expect things to run you know to keep to have this energy of running so it's like you and this person, you know, not having enough of each other. So there's a lot of communication. There's a lot of being with each other. For some of you, there's a distance about you and this person. So there's a lot of back and forward, uh, you know, movement because um, you, you're going to this person or this person is going to you. And so there's a lot of things happening uh, daily that is consuming you. I feel like this is an energy of a love, of a passion that consumes you. And it's very... For some of you, it's so it's so intense this fire with this person that at times can feel like it again it suffocates you because you're feeling all oh, this uh, you're feeling like you're being overpowered by passion. I feel though that um, for many of you Gemini's, this is a needed period of passion and it will find its place of balance later. But this season in particular of Aries, this week's and as we move into April is not about uh, luck warm energy. So if you're more, you know, into the luck warm experiences, expect something here to change or to take you out of your comfort zone when it comes to relationships as well. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles in your challenge. So again, not feeling perhaps that you have uh, as much time to concentrate on material matters as you would like, to concentrate only on your work or only in your finance or only in your family. This could also be another person um, that is challenging to you. It could be a mother, it could be 
a partner uh, that, you know, is very, there's something very poised about this person, but very, how can I, how can I expect, it's like there's something here almost like greedy energy, I have to say, from someone um, that it's close, and th there can be a person that is very jealous again of this period of action you're living, this passion, this this vibration that is pulsating through you, and it's so evident, right? This Queen of Wands energy is very obvious, it's something that we can't really um, hide or suppress. It's when we're glowing, you know, when we're in love and, you know, we glow, or when we're so happy about something, so proud of ourselves that we glow, this is the kind of energy that you're dealing with here. You're glowing. And uh, th this can also be um, a colleague, uh, someone you work with, or someone you have business with. There's an interaction here with this Queen of Pentacles. It can be, it can be um, an earth sign influence. So um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person influence but it could just be someone that is a little bit jealous or envious of this glow or of something specific that you have happening in your life uh this greedy energy could also be just that you know there's a presence here in your life that feels entitled to you and feels like they all they want all of you to themselves, right? All you have for themselves. So again, if this is about love, this could be a person that is very consuming because with this passion comes a lot, you know, of obsession to it. And so it can be a partner. It can be someone you're dealing with that is also here very uh, obsessive over you. But I'm feeling like for the majority is more like uh, someone you have more of a practical, you know, energy with, you work with, or someone that is familiar to you, is in your life for some time. It can be a friend, someone that you're not expecting this behavior, that can show this behavior because it feels threatened when it comes to the freedom that you're experiencing and the the good times that you're experiencing. So I hope you have a great mid month. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.